Hello and welcome back. My name is Seren and welcome to our next episode on Warhammer 40k Mechanicists on our mission for the Omnisire. So, in the last uh, mission we actually outfitted our guys with quite a hell lot of high cost but high damage equipment. And I think I will actually try and kill the Lord Astronomer now. Because this energy enhancer is just ridiculous. Alright, let's try and do this. Our three tech priests are coming with us, of course. And as per usual, I will use two servitors as meat shields, as well as one Skiteri Ranger Alpha. We will get all the healing we can, and the Cant of the Craft for next physical attack plus 9 damage, which will be absolutely wrecking on our physical damage guy. Auto reporting routines added to tech priest internal cogitators. Intelligence on high value targets is critical. I hope we don't run into any high value targets. <laughs> Experience dictates whatever those, these Xenos are. They are likely to welcome our intrusion into their roots. <laughs> Capra is such cool, so cool. Yet we must be prepared for the eventuality. Hence my bringing prime Herme Hermeticon Captrix, Captrix on the mission. If there are still any, uh, if there are still Xenos lifeforms, their destruction will likely form principal objectives. Know the prey, find the prey, then hunt commences. Skitari operations in the tomb of Acropis have confirmed high value target location. They have found Acropis. Confirm location on the sarcophagus of Acropis. I return anticipation, but also concern at this news. The chance to bring Acropis to battle is a valuable one, but one with great risk. Target profile indicates advanced combat capabilities and environmental advantages. Uh, advantage. Xenos weaponry and awakening protocol levels are known. As the Magi uh, Pencunium describes it, high risk, high reward. Well, let's do it. Fight the first boss. My Skitari are holding a perimeter around the Sacrophagus chamber, but they won't be able to do for to do so for long. The awakening protocol protocols are accelerating in the tomb of Acropis. Target conclusion con consciousness probable. I have modified mission perimeters accordingly. Facing Acrop uh, Acropis directly entails great risk subdomina, but I concur with the Prime Hermeticon's assessment. Destroying Lord Acropis is worth the risk. Very well, Magus. If it works, if it if this works, it could make it seem like the lives lost in the tomb of Acropis were not for nothing. Dispatch the coursers, sharpen the spears, and the hunt is on. All right, this is a very long tomb. Let's hope we will fill our cognition gorge. We are not welcome here. This is not our world. Lord of the Necrons own this world, and soon they will own all others. It is our duty to, to, to obey them. A rare direct communication from the Sinos. It is as dis disquieting as it is exciting. There might be much to learn, Magus, but take the greatest care. The whispers go through the nose here, all right. It appears an incepted thought. Mm, analyze the source, address the troops, or perish the thought. I will analyze the source. Fascinating. Necros adapted Xenos. If Necrons plus Imperial Tech altered variation evolved thought of process, then Mechanicus plus Necron Tech may hold the same answer. Oh, plus 2 CP. That's actually quite valuable. The heretical galactic model of Acropis. Take care, Magos. The chances of blasphemous content pr being present approach 100%. Oh god, so many, so many information. Corrupt the data? Analyze for understanding or refuse to content? I think we will corrupt it. Ooh, another 2 CP. Nice. Acropis galactic vision has been dismembered.
Me gusta. All right, our presence has been detected. We will now glyph. What this one? Oh, plus two awakening meter. Ew. That was not what I wanted. And we get extra necrons in battle. What hatred the weak have for that which they do not know, for they know it was made by the strong. All right, it's directly transmitted to the comms unit of every trooper. Respond with curses and prayers. Cleanse the cause minds with prayer session and caution. Oh, we will. We have all the CPs we need now. Um, I don't know this cliff. Ooh, Ooh that's a nice cliff. I don't think there's anything in here. If I see this correctly. Yep. Last room before the boss. Uh, empty sarcophagi. Shatter them, scavenge them, or search. I think we will scavenge them. Oh, nice. We get minus 2 CP, but 47 blackstone? That's worth it. So let's get our first boss here. There it is, the sacred figures of Acropis. Looks like he sees himself as the center of the universe. Thrones of Mars, what was that? You whose existence is war. He has uh, actually defined the Imperium quite well. Target awareness confirmed. Awakening complete. Code Venator in effect. Eliminate high value target with, with extreme prejudice. We can prepare the defense. We can besiege the Omni Sire. Or we can siege, seize the initiative. We seize the initiative. Oh. Ouch. Well. Whatever. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that hurt. And there he is. Well, at least they don't have the initiative, which is nice. All right. Vargard. Odd. No data records in the slightest. Normal small data face on each Necron. This is insert name Necron. Oh, okay. Never seen a Vargard. You knew about the Necrons before you researched on this mission? Yes. Hmm. I'm sure that in the scripture of the Tail on Cock, it states in version 04, uh, 09 part 3, very of those that wander. I fear you stepped too close to heresy, Skevola. Heresy is, is not. My goal is to learn my enemy, to improve my assistance capabilities to mission. I agree, in learning the Xenos, we can better combat them. If we keep to our traditions, we might falter for the lack of knowledge. We'll name the new Xenos. Name will be Vargard, Necron Vargard in Imperial Gothic. Who killed the Lord? All right. Do we have any double or triple cognition points? Nope, just single. All right, so we will employ some servitors up in front. And we will deploy our guys. 
Um... You're the first. You're the one with the extreme damage. It takes four with this one five. So I should not use this one, in my opinion. You go here. You go here. You step a little bit back or onto the side. And I guess that was it. Let's try it. Servitor goes up front. You know, like a good little meat shield. Oh, he, yeah, he actually get, receives cognition points by himself. I almost forgot. So let's get more. And now... Oh, shite. It has only a range of five meters. Oops. Well, there goes that plan. Then we will just move over here and use the refractor shield. One more cognition. I guess we will use this to run there. To phosphor blast pistol him. Oh, what? Oh, he's swapping with this. Idiots. Oh, three damage reduction. Oh, foo -foo. no, no, I don't like. I will still hit him, but yeah, damage absorbed. I mean, door. I still want to want to see his statistics. 40 and f uh, oh wow so many physical armor i bought my i brought my 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 physical uh, uh thingy my bob i guess i will directly heal him up <laughs> then you didn't have seen all. Especially not the Omni Sire. Endless Legions? Oh crap. Don't tell me you're summoning. Alright, alright, alright. So. It seems like this is the time for. Oh, Plasma Culverine, maybe? So I guess we'll move here. Because if I recall correctly, it is a straight line, yep. I will now try... Let's use a Plasma Culverine like this. And get more damage and more damage. Yep, he will swap, but we'll kill two Vargas, I think. Yep. <laughs> oh, what a cool weapon. And we'll re reveal the stats on you. What? Oh, the war gods swept with everybody. That's certainly interesting. We still crit you, so duh. We better you.
unfortunately you are now <laughs> you're far away that's okay Right, you should be saved. Nice, damage absorbed. Alright, new turn here. Our servitor will just move up here. Kill the first one. Nice, next cognition point. He did have three. Uh, I would love to, but unfortunately, I have no possibility here to actually do damage to him. So move here and hit him. Oh yeah, he yeah. I uh, forgot. You're you're a swappy guy. <sighs> but as it is now, we have our macro stubber at least, so we should use it. Yeah, let, let's use it. Does it kill you? Yes, it does. Nice. Good, 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 good. And now I use this one. Good, 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 good. And now what do we do next? All right. So the bar guard is over there. So we will move over here. Take the cognition point. Kill him for good. Just to be certain. Ah, you will see, you will see. More endless legions. Ah. Oh, an immortal. Immortal detected. Database unlocked. Loading. Rizak awakens sire. Why he locked us away from this Necron studies, I do not know, but it is fueling my emotioning emotion receptors with frustration. His naming of the Necrons is helpful, however. Personal recording. Subject immortal. Subject is far more resilient than the warrior class. They also know signs show signs of cognition, where warriors possesses not. Sightings of them blurting out what seems to be direct and basic orders, proof of some cognition. Be aware of. Terry weapon disintegrate molecule save. Uh, alright. Crap. But alright. Let's use our machine spirited weapon to show him who's boss. And I guess we will now move over here. Even though unfortunately we can't use a plasma culvery in this turn. Oh come on! I actually didn't expect him to come back to life that fast. Did he do damage? Game? Hello? Three. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. Hey, extra necrons in battle. Nice. As if I wouldn't have guessed. Let's take. 
you. And let's try to hit him. Alright, you are now attacking him. Just to be sure. And now you're moving with us here. Just heal your friend. All right, another cognition. Nice. And you will take another one. You'll move here. Try and macro stop him. Damn it. Oh yeah. I should have phosphor blast pistoled him because Oh one HP, come on. Well that's at least this is the field generator here. Alright, Rage Alpha. I hope you yeah, and a crit. Nice. You're on here. Yeah, endless. Oh, come on. I don't have enough firepower to, to kill all of them. Oh, damage absorbed. Nice. They're clothing in on us. Oh, come on. Whoa. That's a hell lot of damage here. Right, getting more cognition. Let's first of all do this. Oh, I can't, all right. Let's move here first. Now he will be Swapped with this idiot, as expected. Oh, and of course he is one with... All right, then that's Culverine. Culverine over there. Yeah, you can only swap one. Yeah, nice. This what at least one quarter of your of your HP. Ouch. Our poor Skitari troop. Yes, I will need another servitor here. All right, getting this cognition. Let's go here. 
Take another cognition. Reveal his stats. All right. And let's do the same here. Let's reveal. Oh, wow. 20 HP. That's not funny. And damage absorbed, of course. We will need to get him into melee range. So let's get one of his armor down. Do we need distant prayers on uh, someone? Not yet. You're running here. And then here. Just circle him a little bit. And he will now summon even more. Oh, come on. Wow, ouch, 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 ouch. At least he's our healer. So let's see. I guess you could take one cognition point over here. Enough cognition points. All right, all right, all right. Let's swap places. Oh, you can't anymore. Interesting. Can you only do once with every guy? It would actually be very interesting. Yep, you will kill him as expected. guy so many freaking and of course this reanimated oh that hurts so much all right we get two more cognition points at least So you will at least machine spirit hit him. Five damage, all right. Right there. Oh, that's an interesting topic. I guess he will... Oh, he's not, all right. Nice. Let's hit him again. All right, yeah, no, you turn, your turn. Heal yourself. And heal yourself. Oh yes, it's cost a cognition point. I forgot. I should have used this one.
right? You're attacking the immortal. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wrong one. Well, happens. And he's... Oh, come on! Only one who's coming then, immortal? Yes, of course. One damage critical. Well, at least he's not doing personally so many damage. But only because I shield quite heavily. All right, all right, all right. What does he have? 14 HP left. And he has 2 HP left. I guess I will take all of my damage. And just use the Phosphor Blast pistol on him. Alright, this at least took half his HP. Get the cognition point. I really badly need it. And then I will move a little bit out of the way here. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh no 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 don't kill my guy Oh good evening Ac Pro uh Acri Proc I actually enjoyed if you like XCOM and you like uh, how, uh, Warhammer. It's actually a very nice game. And my guy is dead. Damn it! I lost the tech priest. Oof, 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 oof. So, um, let's give you the litany of life. Do this and do this. And then I guess we run. It's a pity that we lost a tech priest. Kill the final Vargard and take his cognition and let's shield. Maybe I shouldn't have shielded. More endless legions. Oh, another Vargard! No, please. Let's... Nice. Oh, finally killed him. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Ooh, target eliminated, but I actually lost the tech priest here. In the f final round. 
The heavily armored wall form of the Lord Astromana collapsed, spewing sparks. For a moment, raw data. Then Acropus is still and killed, and the Lord Astronomer of Silver Trinibus is destroyed. Target eliminated. The Skitari report a reduction in the coordination of Necron units in the tomb already. A moral and strategic success, Prime Hermeticon. self congratulation is illogical. High value targets remain. Nevertheless, Captrix, a blow has been struck against the Xenos. I have the capacity to grant myself a moment of celebration from my quarantined emotional walls. Perhaps you should, would benefit from the same. No celebration, no pause. The hunt, never off, always on. Oh, we lost a tech priest. And I love my tech priests. Wow, minus 120. Mm hmm. Oh, my poor little tech priest. So we're back down to two. Which one did we lose? I th oh, right, this canticle. And canticle of iron soul, all right. Blessing of the ominous sire, nine, nine condition points, which is nice. And plus three energy armor, all right. I don't think we get we oh we actually did get him back. Oh oh so it only took us the one twenty the hit of one twenty but we actually retained our oh gosh that was I was afraid there. But I've seen that the incident in combustor is actually not that good as I thought because you actually just have five meter of range, which I actually didn't see in here, unfortunately. Oh, Acroprog! Thanks for joining the Snake Den. No problem. If you have questions, just ask. Thanks for the good luck. Oh, we still don't have our Lex Mechanic. Oh, God. So, let's get the last piece of body armor here. And what do we take? Shall we take the max, uh, max HP? I think we take the max HP. We take off the this guy. Do we actually have any physical damage besides the Maker Stubber? Nope. So I would assume we will now take the Maker Stubber with us. And actually the... No, I want the Phosphorus Penta. Yep, there. All right. So I have room for one more upgrade. Who should I upgrade? I assume I actually want to upgrade our friend with a Plasma Culverine because... Let's see, do I want this? He does one more damage. He has one more... Four, four. This is actually a very, very cool thing. But I actually think I will use this one. So that I can every two, three turns didn't use don't use cognition points for the attack. I guess I will use this one. He's so starved on cognition points. And I actually think I will use the even more damage. <laughs> Uh, he's such a damage brute. But unfortunately, I can't upgrade any one of them anymore. And I'm quite happy with how it at the moment is. It's alright. Ooh, that did cost a lot of blackstone here. And for the guys on YouTube, thanks a lot for joining this evening and we I hope you to see each other, to see you in the next uh mission where we do not hunt the next boss <laughs> but maybe we should let's see so see you next time bye bye